Well, I was uh, 33 years old, and I really hadn't uh, dated since I was 27 when I got divorced. And uh, I was still riddled with, uh, with guilt and insecurity. I didn't think I could please a woman. Uh, so at 10 a.m., I walk into the DMV. Uh, and I meet, uh, I see a beautiful woman. And uh, she looked like Sophia Loren or uh, Susan Sarandon. But uh, back then, it was, uh, uh, to me, Sophia Loren. She was very sexy. She was older than me, but she was sexy. And she's looking at my license, and she goes, Paul, I like that name. <laughs> what? And I go, I don't like it. I said, it, it's too plain. You know, she points to her name tag, and she says, oh, try living with Ruth. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> I said, you might want to go dancing first. Right? She goes, oh, you are bad. I'm probably twice your age. I said, I'm probably twice your weight. Right? right? I'm like, age, I'm, age has its own beauty. Right? With age comes passion and compassion and experience. Right? And, 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 and yeah. And then she, told me, then she told me her age. Right? 69. Yeah. Yeah. 69. Right, and, and, and uh, you know, I, you know I, I, I tell my buddy, I, I, I said, this, she's very attractive. He's like, you're still gonna date her? She's 69. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm an optimist. You know, we're gonna go to a movie, dinner, half price. You know? Right? Uh, I'm like, I'm an optimist, my glass is half full. You know, he's like, yeah, with her teeth in it. What are you doing? Right? But anyway, this, so this experience, this was one of the best you know, experiences I, I, I ever had, right? She opened me up, right, right, right? I was, you know, I was just, uh, you know, uh, uh, riddled with, with, with insecurities. And she was, she was, had her own. She hadn't dated in a long time either, right? She was 69, right? She was a kind of a bitter divorcee, and she hadn't dated anyone. And she was self-conscious. She hadn't been, and I, but I let her know how sexy she was. <laughs> Right, and she was sexy, right? I said, your body is beautiful. I know what you look like in your 20s, but you're, you're even more beautiful. Right? She, didn't like, she, she was sagging. I said, your boobs are beautiful. I'm gonna find them no matter where they are. Right, the front, the back, under the armpits, I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna enjoy that journey. <laughs> Right, so then she, you know, she opened up, you know, and, 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 and she got me to open up. I still, I was, she had so much more experience than I did, right? Like, you know, I, I would, back then, I was just first base, second base, third base, boing. I, I had to just, it, it was monotonous. And she, I know she, one night she wanted to break it up. She wanted to break it up, right? Because we're making out and then she pulls away, right? I'm like, what, what happened? I'm thinking, you know, she goes, what do you want to do? Right? And I'm thinking, we were already doing it. I, uh, right? You want to stop and play Scrabble? You know? Right? And then, I, and then I'm like looking at her, and I'm like, oh, God, she wants me to talk. And I've never said, I'd never said a word. The only thing I ever said in bed before would be like, ugh. <laughs> you know? Oops. You know, just, uh, right? So I said, you know, oh, God, I, you know, I'm like, just tell her what you like. Tell her what you like. Tell her what you like. You know? So I said, I love your breast. I love your big, beautiful breast, <laughs> right? And I'm like, that's not sexy at all, you know? I'm using alliteration, you know? I sound like I'm in the library, you know? What the hell am I gonna say next? I love your mammary glands. I, uh, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, yeah, I, I, I go, I love your breasts, right? And she goes, oh. <laughs> tits, you can call them tits. <laughs> Right? And then I really got into it. I'm like, yeah, now I'm talking naughty. I'm like, I love your tits. She's like, shh, neighbors. <laughs> I, oh, I, I love your neighbors. <laughs> your left neighbor, your right neighbor. <laughs> then I'm going down to meet the landlord. <laughs> I, uh, I, <laughs> No, because you know, really, I told her, I said, listen, I love your bre I love your sagging. I said, it's beautiful. Matter of fact, I can't wait till everything's in the same place, you know? Because you know, I have ADD and a lazy eye, so. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, we, were, we were stepping stones for each other. 
Uh, you know, uh, we, we, I, I lived uh, at the time 3,000 miles away, and we would date about five, uh, you know, times a year, and then she met another guy, and, uh, and, and she moved on with him, and, uh, but, you know, she whet my appetite and, uh, to, uh, to get into a relationship, to touch another person's heart and have them touch me. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.